Buenos dias, this is Andrew Lim inviting you to go out on a limb. So it's going to be another hot and steamy day here in Sevilla. Actually right now it's not too bad, it's 10 in the morning, it's about 80 degrees but you know the temperature is going to go up so it's going to be hot. But today we're going to do some uh, sightseeing, actually we're going to go to uh, the popular sites today which is the Cathedral, the Alcazar and the Geralda if I pronounce that correctly. So. Come go on a limb with me and we'll check out the uh, most popular sites here in Sevilla and see what we can discover. Folks, as you can see from my worn out cap, I really need you to hit the subscribe button and the notify button for new content that I upload weekly. Muchas gracias. So our first stop was at the Alcazar, uh, which is really popular. I mean, I have to say, the uh, when I was here 20 something years ago, it was simply known as the um, a palace, a royal palace built for the Christian king Peter of Castile. Uh, but now when I came back, uh, it's now known as where they shot uh, HBO series Games of Thrones. Uh, darn you pop culture. So this is actually a place you have to come visit because it's really unique. Uh, it is a, a prime example of Mudeja style uh, architecture, uh, combining Roman style uh, uh, building, Gothic, as well as Renaissance structural elements. Uh, the upper story of the Alcazar are still occupied by the royal family when they visit uh, Sevilla. Uh, so it's actually still a working uh, castle per se. Um, but of course, they're not there um, all the time, and, and the uh, where they are, uh, tourists are actually not allowed to visit. So it was actually registered in 1987 by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site, uh, along with uh, the Sevilla Cathedral. This is the popular courtyard of the maidens, uh, and this is where uh, part of Games of Thrones were actually shot as well, I believe. So our next stop was the Cathedral of Seville or Sevilla, uh, which is an amazing site to visit. It's the largest Gothic cathedral in the world. Uh, and the third uh, temple in size after St. Peter's Basilica of the Vatican in Rome and St. Paul in London. So in 1987, it was declared a World Heritage Site by the old UNESCO. So this cathedral has been around for almost 500 years. Uh, it was actually built in 1528. So one interesting fact about this cathedral is that it actually breathes. I mean, because every day, the uh, cathedral vaults expand and contract 
by several centimeters due to temperature changes. So in the morning, uh, they actually expand with the heat, and at the end of the day, when it's cooler, they actually contract. So in a movement that's pretty similar to breathing. Um, this was only discovered in 2006 when sensors were used during the restoration work. So it's really interesting. So here in the cathedral, you will actually see the tomb of Christopher Columbus. Uh, it's said to believe this was his final resting place, uh, but it's also debatable. Uh, but anyways, it's actually a great structure to behold uh, when you actually visit the cathedral. So our last stop was the Geralda. Uh, we decided to hike all the way up uh, to the top. Uh, this is actually the bell tower of Sevilla Cathedral uh, here in Spain. It was actually originally built as a minaret for the Great Mars of Seville uh, in a Moorish uh, style, uh, but during the uh, reign of uh, Al Mahat dynasty. Uh, and of course, when the Catholics took over, uh, they actually added a Renaissance style uh, belfry as well. So overall, these three sites are not to be missed when you're here in Sevilla. Uh, if possible, get a guide because there's actually a whole lot of history to cover and your visits won't be the same without a guide. Ooh.